It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I have a Pinter glass, Brava Pinter glass from Poland. I've been using this glass for lots of other beer reviews for lots of other breweries' beers. It's really nice to be able to use this glass on a Brava Pinter farmhouse, American farmhouse ale, coming in at 5% ABV. I have had a farmhouse beer before from Brava Pinter, and I was really pleased with it. It was a collaboration with a French brewery. I think it was called Kvass something or other. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Viva la Pinta. That seems to ring a bell as well. Right. Pinta bottle cap. Nice bit of smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. Oh, look at this. Okay, we have a one finger white head, a nice hazy colored ale with slow moving carbonation. And it's definitely an unfiltered beer. You can just see if you're looking close enough the little bits and pieces floating around in the beer. It's a straw coloured beer. Let's get the aroma. <laughs> oh yes. It's really, really marmalady. Really, it's kind of really jammy and juicy and yeah, orange marmalade and strawberry jam mixed into together and spread all over your toast. Oh, it's so... It's so chock full of American hops, but at the same time, it's a funky farmhouse ale. You get the two distinct aromas from the beer, it's, but it's so kind of easy to cobble the two aromas together and come out with this kind of, as I mentioned earlier, this kind of marmalade jam, strawberry jam like aroma. Oh, it smells wonderful. Gotta dive in. Cheers, guys. That is the most farmhouse beer that I've ever tried on the channel. It's really juicy. It's like a... It's almost like you've got a couple of dollops of orange marmalade. You put them in a, in, in a glass, a pint glass. Say three spoonfuls, not teaspoonfuls, but spoonfuls. And then you've got some raspberry and strawberry jam, and you've put that into a glass as well. You've um, you've added a light beer to the. You filled it up to the to the pint to the to, to the max, and then you've kind of given a big old stir. You've mixed in all of that strawberry, raspberry, and orange marmalade into that light beer, and you've just come up with this. This beer here, which is quite extraordinary, it's very different from a lot of farmhouse beers that I've ever tried. Funky, kind of horse blankety, slightly sour. And it's what I love about Polish breweries. They've gone, do you know what? We brewed a farmhouse beer. Let's dry hop it to hell. Let's, let's whack a load of hops in the beer and let's make it a hoppy American style farmhouse ale. And do you know what? On paper, it may not work. But if you just go ahead and do things sometimes in life, just get on with it without really kind of thinking too much. 
you end up with great creations like this. This is lovely. It's juicy, it's fresh, it's refreshing, it's drinkable. There's lots of flavours going on. I like it. It is actually bottle conditioned. Would you like to see some of the, some of the yeast? Here is the beer without the yeast added. Would you like to see some of that yeast added to the beer? Look at that. So, one more taste and a rating. I just wanted to add one more taste just to see if that little bit of added yeast would make a little bit of difference. Uh, but it, it, it's exactly the same beer. Um, this is one of my favourites now from Pinta. This is right up there with with oh, call me Simon <laughs> and uh, uh, Zaitanello. That's what I was looking for. Zaitanello was the first beer I reviewed from Brother Pinta three years ago now. It's amazing, isn't it? Three years ago. And um, it was a black IPA and it was just wonderful. It was just so hoppy, so amazingly hoppy. Um, it was a great beer and it started my whole Polish craft beer journey really into, into seeking and finding these beers. I ordered this beer myself. Um, it wasn't sent to me. Uh, I ordered it from a, a Polish online beer store, which were very kind of helpful in sending them over to the UK for me and yeah it, it, it's a top beer I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer please put your comments in the comments box give us a big fat thumbs up boom subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.